Well, hey everybody, it's Paul. Welcome to my channel and welcome to my kitchen. You know, everybody seems to love Dolly Parton. I mean, I love Dolly Parton. By all counts, she's a nice lady. She's very generous. But does that mean her cornbread is any good? That's what we're going to find out right about now. Let's jump right into it. Okay, so take two when you grab the package of cornbread Make sure you grab the one side that shows what you're talking about Amateurs, okay, the ingredients are super easy. We're going to pour in the whole pack There I've got one third cup of butter. Get all that goodness in there. Don't want to waste it. We've got one cup of milk and one egg. Easy peasy. Give this a bit of a stir here. The proper tool would probably be a whisk, but I'm too, way too lazy to walk over a few feet and grab one. I know you guys are thinking, it's because you ain't got one. Now, I may have to, I may have to stoop down and get it. Just a little flexing here. Different size whisks. Silliness. Alright. I think that's pretty good. Like I like to say, we're not splitting the atom here. It doesn't have to be perfect. Alright. Now, set that over for a second. Got an 8x8 eight eight here. Let's get it centered. Something like that. Okay. Shake up that pan and give it a hit. All around butter will stick. There we go. I like doing it in this because it's really easy to pour then. But uh, there's no secret about it. Just got to get it in there. I think it was Franklin that said, waste not, want not. Now... Got the stove at 375. That sets nice and level. It says for 8x8, eight eight, 20 to 24 minutes. So I guess I'm going to go 22 and look at it from there. 22 minutes, 375. See you then. Let's see, that was 22. I'm gonna give it just a little bit longer, just from the way it was moving. It's a little soft, I think. We'll give it at least two more to go to that 24. Okay, this is 24 minutes. It's got some browning around the edges. I'm saying it's going to need a little more. Every oven's different. Give it another couple minutes. It's like watching a pot waiting for it to boil. Okay, that came out good. Looks like she's done. Well, there she be. 
course, that brings to mind the age-old question when talking about cornbread. Should it be sweet or should it be plain? I think some folks say the authentic, the real, the old-time version is plain. So, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Should cornbread be sweet or not? Oh, that's got a nice crust, like, top to it. And one package makes a perfect amount. Okay, the moment of truth. If I can eat it, it's a little hot. Okay, here we go. Good. First impressions, like the box says, and I'm not sponsored, but it says Dolly's Sweet Cornbread. It is surely sweet, which, of course, is the way I like it. Second, to me, it feels more refined than the Jiffy. I think the Jiffy has slightly coarser type of green feel to it. This is a little bit more cake-like, smoother texture, I would say. This is more buttery, much more buttery. The crust is phenomenal. I went 26 minutes, so I'm giving the dollies two thumbs up from the old guy. She doesn't disappoint. Let me know if you've tried it. Did you like it? Too sweet? Not sweet enough? What's your thoughts? Prefer Jiffy? Prefer it with no sweetness? Let me know in the comments. Until next time, thanks so much for spending a few minutes with the old guy. We'll see you.